Well, we get to the fun part of the restoration. It's time to test the heater element. And for that, of course, we have to go back to school. Now, Jensen are really good on the little plaque that you get on most of their engines. There we go. They tell you the voltage, the watts, and the current. So that is really helpful because the obviously what we want is we we need to know the resistance of the heating element so that we can check whether it's in the right ballpark. So in order to do that, we've got everything we need. They've given it to us. So using the absolute genius equation, which is Ohm's law, we want R. So R will equal the voltage divided by the current which is 115 divided by, well, they've said four amps, but at 450 watts, it's gonna be nearer 3.9 amps. And that will equal, I'm not gonna do that one in my head, give me old trusty Vatman calculator. 29.48, we'll call it 30 ohms. So that's what hopefully our heater element should measure. Well, I've got my trusty fluke here and we're gonna connect up the probes. I have cleaned the terminals on the heating element, so we should get a good reading. I'll try and do this without obstructing the camera angle. There we go. And, oh dear, not the 30 ohms we were expecting, but 70, just over 70 ohms. Well, yeah, so this is probably gonna cause us a problem here because again, if it's only 70 ohms, <coughs> obviously it's gone high resistance at some point. It's only gonna give us about 180, 190 watts when the actual originally it should have been 450 watts. Well, whether that's gonna be enough to actually create steam, I, I just don't know. Uh, I think that um, uh, possibly it won't be. So it may well need a new heater element. More progress with the Jensen 70. The smokestack support and the firebox have been sprayed with high temperature engine paint and they've been baked in the oven. So that, they're now done. <clears throat> We're having a very mild December here in the UK. Uh, it's actually Christmas Day today and the outside temperature is about 12 degrees, which is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, so I was able to get those sprayed and done yesterday. The uh, wooden base has been sanded down. I think these were originally stained and um, it was only a light stain. So I was basically able to sand them right back to the bare wood. And uh, it's a, this is a piece of plywood and it's now had its third coat of finishing oil and it's looking very nice. It's, uh, lo I think, looking lovely. Uh, a few more coats to go yet before we uh, have got that finished, but it's definitely on the way. Had a bit of luck with the heating element. <clears throat> now it occurred to me that obviously it's been many years since any current has flowed through this heating element. I've had the thing for six years and I've certainly never attempted to uh, power it up, but I don't know for how much longer before that was the last time this thing ever you know was turned on so I connected it up to power and 120 volts um, and powered it up and it got reasonably warm and then it got really really hot I left it on for about five minutes and it was chucking off loads of heat it, to me it felt you know absolutely fine this is like what it should be doing so I let it I let it run for about five minutes and then turned it off, let it cool down, measured the element again, and it's now reading 32 ohms, which is much closer to what it should actually be reading. So I think, hopefully, putting some power through it has, has healed the high resistance, and it's now back to you know what it should be. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the heating element is gonna be fine. So I've just gotta put a new bit of flex on it. Yeah, I think all I've got left to do is finish off the base, uh, do my final cleaning and polishing on the boiler and uh, then it'll be ready to go back together. Wow, <laughs> the Jensen 70 is ready to go back together. It's all, it's all finished. The base has come out really well. Uh, finishing all did a lovely job on that plywood. And yeah, I mean, obviously 
certain things were riveted when I took it apart and they those rivets will be replaced with nuts small nuts and bolts BA ones I expect but other than that and the fact that it's got a new uh, piece of uh, uh, electrical cable now it's uh, it's going to be pretty much uh, standard you know it will be, be pretty much standard as it should have been from new uh, I've made a new smokestack for it as I said it's quite simple on the early Jensen's because it's simply a piece of polished metal tube in this case that's aluminium but um, yeah, I've got obviously other Jensen's that have got actual Jensen smokestacks. So I've got one, to, I had one to copy for that. So yeah, let's get it back together. The Jensen 70 is all back together and I hope ready to run. I think it's looking quite nice. <clears throat> one of the things that I must uh, uh, investigate, certainly uh, next early next year, <clears throat> is nickel plating. I know it's fairly easy to do nickel plating at home. I've seen videos on how to do it and uh, I must uh, investigate this because certain parts of this engine, the nickel plate had, uh, was already worn and then when I cleaned it up, the nickel plate came off the whistle, the safety valve and the, uh, the sight glass blocks. So yeah, it would be very nice to be able to, to re-nickel plate those. So that's something that uh, I'm definitely gonna have to look into, but for now, now it's done and uh, I think it looks quite nice. Um, all we've got to do now is uh, see if it'll actually steam. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully it will. Um, always a bit worried about sight glasses. I had to replace the sight glass in this because the original one was cracked. Um, and I put O-rings and I've also made up some little gaskets for where it screws onto the boiler. So hopefully it should all seal up nicely, but you never can tell. So, right, let's get on with it. Well, we've got a slight wheat from the sight glass, but I think we're about there. Oh, look at that, lovely, self-starting. I'm impressed. Obviously the heating element is fine. It's generating plenty of steam. No problem there. Doesn't it run nice? Jensen's are generally lovely little engines. They, they're extremely well made, so they generally run, run, run really well. You can get a model steam engine to run like that. There's not an awful lot wrong with it. Very quiet too. Runs an absolute treat. I didn't expect anything else as I said. I've, I've <clears throat> never had problems with, uh, with Jensen's there. Yeah, they're generally they're generally superb and this one is no exception. As I said, any model steam engine that will run as slow as that, as controlled as that, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Got to sort that sight glass out. It's blowing some steam from the top here, so. But uh, I'm not too surprised at that. Um, it, the, the holes for the sight glass <coughs> um, bolts—they're very, very worn. I put gaskets on it. I put um, O-rings, but it's—it's it's still, you know, leading steam, obviously, and leaking. But no, I mean that's absolutely fine. Yeah, well pleased with that. So these few things to sort out on here, but 
But other than that, no, it's fine. Definitely producing a plenty of uh, steam pressure, that, that heating element, nothing to worry about there. Jensen 70, under steam for the first time since its restoration. And yeah, that's working an absolute treat. Well, there you go. I think that'll about do. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, as always. And uh, I've certainly enjoyed doing this one. It's uh, it's been uh, it's been fun. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.